we didn't ask how much he was gonna charge us until he had already given Kailani hers. Okay, this is the second course. And it's kind of like this big puffy fried bread. Kailani and I are walking to the Nepal Tourism Board so that we can get our Annapurna trekking permits. So you're gonna need two permits for this trek. Um, you're gonna need the Annapurna Conservation Permit and the TIMS permit. Um, both of those are good for uh, trekking in the Annapurna region. And we're gonna be doing the Annapurna circuit and the Annapurna base camp, but those are all of the permits that you're gonna need. We have passports, we have passport photos, and we have some cash. So that's what you're gonna need to get those two permits. It's about a 30 minute walk from Tamel, and there you go. So we'll see you over there. Getting close to the tourist bus and the bus stop. Look at how cute these blue these little taxi cabs are. Are those the cutest things you've ever seen? Yes. There's hundreds of them. I haven't seen any since here. And I don't know if that guy was just selling fake money or maybe it's uh, I've seen people throwing those coins into some of the fountains here as offerings. So maybe you can buy fake money with real money and that way you don't have to spend as much as you're making your offering. I don't know if that's true or not, but I don't know what else he was doing because it looked like he had a million dollars just sitting on the side of the curb. So. <laughs> We made it out of the busyness of that last market in the intersection and we're at the Department of Tourism now and it is just totally chilled out. It's this big beautiful old brick building with some kind of... I don't know if you can see those seed pods. <laughs> We just got our, both of our trekking permits. It was 2,000 rupees for each permit, which is something like $15. So not so bad. We're super hungry. And so right across the street, we're here. The tools and office is right there. And we found some street food that we can eat just right across the street. And that is the kitchen. I got veg momo and Kailani ordered pani tukuri. Our first course just came out. It's veg momos. And take a look at these. Let's see how they taste. Hot. They're so hot. <laughs> Let's see if we can just get a mouthful in here. That's really good. I think there's something like cabbage and carrot and some sort of green thing in here. And this, the sauce is like a really beautiful, spicy curry sauce. And you can see there's little flakes of chili in there. Oh, that's delicious. And the skins are just steamed. It feels really like light and healthy. Mm. Okay, this oh, is the so second good. course. <laughs> and it's kind of like this big puffy fried bread and a curry. 
Mm. How is it, Carolina? What does it taste like? Um, the bread is really sweet. What's in that curry? It looks delicious. It looks like there's little pieces of carrot and corn and tomatoes Ooh, and, and beans. beans. Yeah. That looks amazing. It smells like it smells like a a fair back home, like a yeah, it does a like, carnival, like a fry bread or something like that. Yeah, it's so oily. And it's super oily and crispy and sweet. God, that's delicious. And with the momos too. And this sauce is amazing. And there's big, big chunks of garlic in here. Mmm. Mm. All right, so we're back in Tamel. That whole meal cost us 180 rupees, which is about a dollar twenty something. So super good deal. We. It didn't fill us up all the way. I mean, the, food, the portions were kind of small. So we're gonna see if we can get some street food here. Maybe a couple of samosas or something like that. Or we've been going to this really amazing little Indian place just right next to where we're staying. So, so we're gonna do that and then hopefully get a beer uh, in the evening. So I will see you at our next little street food adventure. <laughs> making is almost something like a burrito. It's just a roti cooked with an egg on it. And then he put all of these veggies inside, tomato and uh, cucumber and lettuce inside. And he put some sort of like a, like a spicy ketchup and a mayonnaise on there. It tastes just like some sort of like street junk food that you would get like in Germany at one of those Turkish stalls. It's really, really tasty and pretty hearty. We didn't ask how much he was gonna charge us until he had already given Kailani hers. So they were 200 rupees each. And I think he overcharged us, but we, we should have asked what the price was before we asked him to make it for us. So these are delicious, 200 rupees each. Hopefully you can get them for cheaper. I, I definitely wouldn't pay it. I don't know if I'd pay this much for it again, or I'd definitely not at but That's all for our street food right now. I think we're gonna go to the hostel and just chill out. So thanks for coming with us to get our permits, and we will see you guys in the next one.